welcome hello my youtube friend this very video my friend is kind of late if you have seen uh, the latest video that i did just before going to the states uh, i made a video with an unboxing uh, and actually i unboxed the the npr uh, pimped by uh, alex Dietz, and i had a second one which was this one and for whatever reason uh, the video didn't uh, get through uh, youtube and I lost it. So this is a retake. I usually hate to do retakes, but I really wanted to present you this knife. So let's go with this Van Heerden knife, which are pur purchased from a UK website. It's called, it's called uh, Heine. Uh, they have really nice custom knives. For those of you who live in the States, uh, you won't buy from them because it's very much uh, expensive and you, need, often you will need to pay the taxes. So I don't. I don't pay the taxes, it's in, uh, in Europe. Uh, it was kind of expensive, but I really wanted this knife from Van Heerden uh, because this is a special knife from him. Uh, he doesn't make really that often uh, those uh, metal, uh, I would say, uh, handles uh, with inlays. Usually he works with, uh, like uh, Thorburn, he works with wood, with uh, carbon fiber, but uh, this is not usual. Uh, design that he makes and I just love love this design either the handle and the blade uh, shape I just love it so you know those guys from uh, South Af Africa now they became very famous for their flipper so uh, it's not an unboxing so I know how it flips I can tell you that it flips <laughs> perfectly perfectly well it is smoothness at its highest highest level look at that it's effortless uh really you can use your whatever finger i mean it's even too strong of a uh of an action look at the pinky okay you see that that's smoothness as i said at its higher level so now um now you, you need to try one of those uh flippers really the the smoothness is so impressive you wouldn't uh, uh, believe it uh, when you will try it look at that i mean that was really effortless uh, now the downside is that whenever you have uh, a smoothness like that the detent is not uh, the best feature of the knife so you see it's just enough but whenever you make just a you see uh, just a wrist action like that that uh, will fly open also but you know uh, on for a, an everyday use this is enough of a retention uh for the blade not to open in the pocket you see so now let's go back to this handle so that's not titanium actually it's uh stainless steel but uh the the finish is just excellent you know uh, and then you have this inlay of lightning strike carbon fiber of the very very best effect and believe me my friend you won't find even if you pay all the attention in the world you won't feel the frontier between the um, the stainless steel and the carbon fiber which is kind of weird you know because usually you you will um, every uh, lightning strike carbon fiber that i have you feel in a way the 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 copper wires here uh, you, you feel them and this one is very neat because you don't feel any any of the wires so that's a plain surface and uh, in regard of the, the other plain surface of the, the handle here you don't feel any any frontier whether it's here or here or here here you feel just a little bit of the um, the depression that you have here for the hardware but you don't you don't feel the difference between uh, the frontier between uh, the metal and the inlay and it's really the same on the other side uh, probably just a tiny bit here to be perfectly honest just a tiny bit but really not that much uh, really nothing yeah just a tiny bit just to say something you see uh, so the, the design is just excellent I love the custom clip that I do. I love that. Love it. Uh, the, the, the two Andres does the same. Uh, Torburn also used that uh, that kind of um, of pivot. Just love it. So now we've seen about the action. You see, they're really quite similar. You know, they use this round um, logo, Andre von Hirden and Andre Torburn. They say they share the same country, the same first name, uh, the same logo. I mean, 
uh, and they also made some knives together. I've seen uh, the knives called the A2, like the Andreas 2, uh, and they really they do awesome, awesome job. So let's continue with this knife. So that's a frame lock. That was also one of the features that I really liked about this knife, because usually they make some liner locks. So since I wanted to have a Torburn and I knew that the Torburn would be a, a liner lock, uh, I I was you know more prone to buy this uh, this kind of knife. So nice uh, frame lock. Look at the engagement here. Just I would say ten percent. I mean, as I said, they, they're, those guys are not really used to to frame locks. But then again, look at that. It's just a perfect frame lock. No stickness whatsoever. No stick, no stickness at all. It's not grippy. You don't try to hear something. Nothing. And you disengage the liner, uh, the like, like it's effortless. Let me try here. You see. Uh, I mean, what in what other knife? Uh, can you go, you know, through the cut and be able to disengage? This is just crazy. It's every everything that you that you will feel on this knife uh, screams quality and smoothness. Everything. I mean, every. I mean, I literally. I mean everything. Now let's go to this blade shape. I just love this blade shape. The hand rubbed finish is just stellar. Uh, just, just awesome. Uh, it's a. Uh, quite unusual uh, blade shape, but that was also one of the things that I really liked about it. Here it's a flat, it would have been better probably if he, if it was you know a hollow grind, but I really like it as it is. I just just love it, love it. No movement whatsoever. Uh, this is a rock solid knife. You even have some jimping here, which is effective, kind of effective, yeah. Yeah, it gives you some retention. The the feel of the handle on the in the hand is just superb, just superb. You have more than enough room, uh, real estate for uh, for the grip for four fingers, and you have really the the, the nice retention. Uh, I'm sorry about my fingers. Uh, I, I took some time, you know, more than an hour, to try to fix the Gafco <laughs> uh, scratches with the pa paper grit, and uh, I'm becoming, you know, a custom knife maker <laughs> of my own. And even after hours, I didn't get rid of the scratches. I think that I will uh, need to send it back to uh, to a real uh, custom knife maker. Now, uh, to uh, continue with this knife, uh, one of the the, the features that I liked also was the clip. It goes for a tip, tip up carry, and look at that. I love the contrast. I had that also on my Elishwitz. The contrast between the lightning strike carbon fiber here only inlay and uh, the regular uh, carbon fiber. Even it drilled some holes. I mean, it's just some details like that, but it gives some some high quality to this uh, to this knife. So my friend, uh, those Andres, those guys from oh, South Africa, uh, they do some just just epic work. I love them. Let me see. I haven't seen that. Look. Blade centering is... Oh, I would say... Oh, I don't know. Probably a little bit of center. Just to say something. A little bit. But really, it's really not, not that much. But I've seen something while filming. Uh, it's just... You see, the finish here. It's not really neat. Or it's dirty. I don't know. I would try to... Probably dirt. Uh... Uh, I don't know. It's not really well, you know, the cuts here. I'm not sure it's only dirt. That That is probably the only downside that I would address uh, to this knife because the rest is just just flawless, flawless in ed from every part that you can see it's flawless. But here uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, um, yes. I, I haven't, uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't... Um, see that before prior to make this movie but uh, that would be probably the only flow that i would address this finish here on the cuts uh, it could have been a little bit better but overall just an awesome knife. oh i haven't talked also about the the backspacer look at that i mean here also try to find any frontier you won't find nothing and those are uh, it's not a single piece you see the lines here uh, between all the pieces of the knife and again here you don't feel nothing 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 I love this knife. I love the work from those guys from South Africa. 
and if ever you have the chance to try one of them uh, either one of them uh, I strongly recommend that you that you pick one of the knives okay my friend that was another knife uh, to show you and I'll catch you very soon bye bye